Hello everyone, today we are going to be working on Word 2019 Module 9, creating a reference document. We're working on Project A. If you have a textbook in front of you, we are on page 225 in the book. It's called Furman, Furman and Brandt is the title. All right, so we'll download all of our resources. Again, if you need the instructions, they are here. And then your start file and support file, download it. We're going to go ahead and start with our support, our start file. And it looks like this. So first things first, we save it. So file, save as, browse. And go ahead and go to your student drive down here. Your IBCA folder. Change the one to a two. All right, always double check your document title to ensure it's updated. Step one, you are an associate consultant at Furman & Brandt, a consulting firm in Baltimore, Maryland. Your manager, Megan Greenberg, has started a report on the airline industry for a new client. She has already created some content and wants you to complete the report. Switch to outline view and then insert a sub document as follows to include the text Megan has already written. So we're, first thing we have to switch to outline view. So we're gonna go to our view tab. Under the views group, we're gonna go to outline and it should look like this. In. So now that we're there, we're going to do 1A. With the insertion point on the section break above the table of figures heading, show the entire document. Well, here's our table of figures heading. So we're going to put our insertion point right here in this little blank dot. And now, if you see you're in an outlining tab, this automatically popped up whenever you went into outline view. Under master document group, we're going to hit show document to show in the entire document which all that does is it's going to continue to um, like it expand it this this group for us so we can do more things in this document. So now moving on to 1B is to insert this document support content to incorporate Megan's content. Under the master document group, you'll see there's an insert command. So we're going to insert the sub document. You'll have to go to your downloads folder and find your support file and open. 1C is to select the sub document and then unlink it so that the sub document becomes a permanent part of the master document. If you do not do this part, you will not get a good grade on this project. This is like a very, very important step. So I scrolled back up and right here on the left of the document, I'm sorry, the background heading, there's like this, it looks like a little sheet of paper. You click on that icon and it's going to select the entire sub document you just inserted all at once. Once you've selected that little bitty icon to the left of the background heading, you're going to come to the master document group and hit unlink. And now this is forever going to be a part of the document. And then this 1D says to close the outline view. So easy enough, we're going to hit the X and close. All right, so step two, on page two, find the sentence. This dissatisfaction is reflected in a five-year decline in passenger yield. And then insert the following endnote after the period. So in the background, under the background heading, about halfway down, you're going to see it's right here. This dissatisfaction is reflected in a five-year decline. All right, so an endnote goes after the period, but it also tells you in the directions to insert the following endnote after the period. So guys, make sure you're reading the directions. It's telling you exactly what to do. So an endnote is under the references tab. Under the footnote group, you're going to go to insert endnote. And from there, we're going to type out what it tells us to, which is passenger, passenger yield is the difference between the supply and demand of seats on a flight period. Passenger yield is the difference between the supply and demand of seats on a flight period. Again, guys, this is step two. We're typing out the stuff that's in bold. So if you need to look at your instructions, please do so or pause the video as you type. Please remember any typo or misspelling, anything like that will cause this to get marked incorrect. So please do go over it a second, third time to ensure you're correct. Moving on now to step three. On page two in the bulleted paragraph, beginning personal 
experiences, select the text euro symbol and replace it with the euro sign. So let's scroll up. You're looking for the bullet point that says personal experiences. If you see down here in the lower left hand corner, you can see I'm now on page two of eight. And right here it says euro symbol. So I'm selecting just the, the text from the bracket to the bracket, nothing more. To insert a symbol is the insert tab all the way to the symbols group. And you're going to look for this little icon. Um, it's, if you hover over it, it's going to tell you it's a euro sign. It's like a C with two little lines through it. And that's a euro dollar sign. Okay. So you're looking for this sign right here. All right. Moving on to step four. On page four, add a caption to the picture. Um, so that the caption is displayed as follows. So you're going to come find this picture right here. It's left Don Sana, something like that. Okay. And to add a caption is under the references tab, captions group, insert caption. If you remember when you were doing the training, a lot of you guys really struggled with this one because you kept trying to delete what was already there. Do not delete this. It stays figure three. You're going to put a colon space, some airlines, use chatbots period some airlines use chatbots and then you're going to hit okay and it should then pop up right here underneath your picture so moving on to page 226 now on the book step five above the picture in the last sentence on page three select the placeholder text insert cross reference and replace it with a cross reference to figure three that displays only the figure label and number so if you just scroll up slightly, you're going to see it right here at the bottom. Insert cross-reference. Please ensure that you are not going past the brackets and accidentally taking away those spaces. It's very important you only get from bracket to bracket only. Remember, shortcut is to hold shift and use your arrow keys to make an exact selection as well. All right, so we're doing a cross-reference, which is going to be under the captions group as well. Cross-reference. The reference type is going to be figure. So you go to figure, insert caption, I'm sorry, insert reference to. You're going to do only label and number because that is what it tells us in the directions. And then we're going to select figure three since it tells us we're referencing it to figure three. You're going to do University Hallroom Teachers. This is just a reminder that we'll be having our Google Meet for scheduling during second hour today. All right, guys, sorry for the interruption. Let me get back. All right, so again, double check to make sure you have figure three. You're going to hit insert and then close. All right, so your, your sentence should now say C, figure three for this website. Step six, on page four at the end of the first sentence in the integrated travel services section, mark travel industry as an index entry. So we're on page four now. I went too far. Sorry. Under integrated travel services on the last two words of that first sentence, travel industry. So I'm selecting these two words under the references tab, under the index group, we're going to hit mark entry since it's asked us to mark an entry, an index entry. So when you hit mark index entry, you're going to see your main entry already has travel industry in there for you. Since we highlighted that text, you're going to hit mark and then close. Step seven is to create a link between the innovations and aircraft text box on page four and then and the blank the blank text box on page five so the text can continue from page to page as necessary. So click the outline of this text box. We're going to go to the drawing tools format tab. Under the text group you're going to hit create link. It's going to look like a coffee cup. You're going to scroll down and when you go to the second page text box, you're going to see it looks like it's spilling the coffee. That's what you want. You click and it's going to um, allow the text box to continue on. All right. Step eight on page five, insert a page break before the coming soon airport trends heading so that the heading appears on the on a new page. So let's go down before means you're going to put it to the left of the C for coming soon. So it should be in front of it. We're going to go to layout under page setup group. We're going to go to breaks and page, and it should drop it down a page. 
Step nine, on page two, insert a hyperlink from the text trends in the sentence after figure one to the heading coming soon, airport trends. So let's scroll up to page two, find figure one. The sentence underneath figure one says this report outlines the upcoming changes and trends in the airline industry. So you double click the word trends to hyperlink. Control K is the shortcut key. You can right click and go to hyperlink or you can go to the insert tab and hyperlink. So we're hyperlinking it to a heading inside the document. So you're going to go to place in this document. And then you're going to come and click this heading coming soon airport trends and hit OK. Step 10, insert breaks as follows to prepare for adding a table of contents to the document. A, position the insertion point to the left of the background heading on page two and then insert a page break to add a new blank page. All right, so put your insertion point in front of the B on background. Under the layout tab, under the page setup group, you're going to go to breaks and you're going to do a page break. Okay, and then 10B says with the insertion point still positioned to the left of the background heading, insert a continuous section break to keep the table of contents in a separate section. So let's go back to breaks and hit continuous. And you're done with step 10. Moving on now to step 11, position the insertion point before the page break in the new page you just added, and then insert a table of contents using the automatic table two style in the table of contents gallery. So let's scroll up. You're going to put your insertion point in front of the page break, so it should be to the left of it. Right here, right here. Please, guys, make sure you're paying attention. In front of the page break means your insertion point goes right here. Okay, to do a table of contents, we have to go back to the references tab under the table of contents group. You are going to go to table of contents, automatic table two. All right. So that is how you do step 11. Step 12, on page 3, the, the page beginning with the background heading, insert a header as follows. So let's go to page 3 with the background header. I'm going to just double click inside this area to activate my header and footer. Or you can go to insert header. Okay, it's the same thing. You're inserting a slice one header. All right, so slice one header. If you did it from here, you're just going to scroll down and find slice one. It's the same thing. Okay, so then 12B says break the link to the previous section. So in the navigation, you're going to see it says link to previous. We're going to cl click it to break the link. Then 12C says go to the previous section and then remove the header. So let's stay under the navigation group and hit previous. And then I'm just going to select this new this header on the table of contents once i select it i'm going to hit backspace to delete it and that's it 12d says close the header and footer tools so close it up that's it step 13 at the bottom of page 7 delete the next page section break to remove an extra section from the document so let's scroll all the way down to page 7 um, if you are not aware of this the only way you can see your section breaks, these are called formatting marks, right? And so in your home tab in the paragraph group, if your show hide button is not on, you cannot see this, okay? So make sure your show hide button is on. Here's your next page, section break. The easiest way to select it is to put your insertion point in front of the break, hold shift, and use your right arrow key um, to make your selection. So again, hold shift and use your arrow key to select the section break and then hit backspace to delete it. Step 14, on page eight, insert a new blank paragraph after the table of figures heading, and then insert a table of figures using the default format to list the figures in the document. So let's go to page eight right here. We have to insert a new blank paragraph. So that means I'm gonna put my insertion point after the S in figures and hit enter to create a new paragraph. And then now we're going to insert a table of figures, which is going to be under our references tab, under our captions group. We're going to insert table of figures and we're using default format. So all I have to do is hit OK.
Step 15 on page 9, insert a new blank paragraph after the index heading and then insert an index using the default format. So we'll scroll down and do the same thing. I'm going to put my insertion point after the, the heading index, hit enter to create a new blank paragraph. And then under the index group, I'm going to go insert index. Okay. Step 16 is to add an entry to the index as follows to include a missing subtopic. 16A, on page 6, at the end of the last sentence in the parking shuttle section, mark an index injury, entry that uses technology as the main entry and parking as the sub-entry. So let's scroll up and find parking shuttles right here. I'm going to put my insertion point after the period of the last sentence. And then I'm going to go to the index group, hit mark entry. My main entry will be technology. Hold on, guys, I'm going to have to pause it for a second. All right. Sorry for another disruption. We're almost there. So again, your main entry, guys, will be technology. And your sub-entry will be parking. You're going to hit mark and then close. So 16B says hide the index codes and the other formatting marks. So remember, that is your home tab, paragraph group, formatting marks. are also your show hide button. So we're going to just turn off our show hide button and all that goes away. And then update the index to include the new entry. So let's go back down to our index. All you have to do is right click inside your index and hit update field. And you'll see now you'll see technology and parking. All right, last step. Step 17 is to change the document margins to apply a 0 0.5 gutter to the whole document to prepare it for binding. So let's go to our layout tab. Under our page setup group, we're going to go to margins and then down here to custom margins. And you're going to change your gutter to 0.5, but it then tells us to, to the whole document. So that means down here we want to apply to whole document. Hit OK. And that's it, guys. That's, this is all you have to do for this project. You'll file, file save to make sure you update your stuff. Minimize your, your screen. Go back to Cengage. Go to your student drive, IBCA folder, and find your 9A2 project. You submit it. And there we go. We got 100 out of 100. If you have any questions or concerns, please email me or see me during class. Have a great day.